class uh, by Apple to, um, that allows to, um, uh, to hijack um, NSUL connections on, and NSUL sessions. So uh, I used uh, NSUL protocol to, um, uh, to hijack the, the connections and uh, actually to um, uh, in order to, to add logging uh, in any application, uh, you just have to uh, add this line uh, on startup. And uh, well, th this application is a, a very simple web browser. And uh, so you can connect to uh, uh, the Apple website, for instance, uh, and uh, the, uh, the NSLogger viewer shows uh, all requests and the responses. Uh, obviously, uh, everything is asynchronous, so I added um, an index to uh, each request so that uh, it's easier to match the, the responses. And uh, it's also possible to log uh, the uh, HTTP headers and the contents, uh, even when there are um, uh, binary contents or images and so on. So uh, this. <coughs> um, so it works with uh, any website, uh, uh, HTTP, uh, HTTPS, and so on. And it works with uh, web services, uh, with NSUL connection, and mo in most cases with NSUL session. Does it, does it happen before, or I mean, outside of the encryption? Yes, so yes. So it works with HTTPS. It's uh, easier to set up than um, uh, man in the middle, such as a Charles proxy and so on, because you don't have, um, you still uh, can have a certificate pinning in the, uh, inside the application. Uh, you don't have to, to play with certificate and so on. Basically, you set your app uh, with one extra login. Yes. And uh, this is which the viewer is a standard viewer on? Yeah, uh, the, the viewer is a standalone application. It's uh, uh, NSLogger. Uh, it's um, an open source project by uh, Florent Pillet, a uh, French guy. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, this, this is an extension. To, uh, yes. To, uh, uh, I, I, uh, actually, it's a, um, uh, an extension to both NSLogger and NSUL protocol. Yes. And uh, I want to point out, if you don't have NSLogger <coughs> and you have a relatively good network, um, open NSLogger on your network and see what apps have shipped with NSLogger on it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, cell phone apps that tell you to connect your cell phone provider that leak a clear death password and stuff like that. It's, it's really interesting. Yes. <laughs> Very instructive, yes. You become the de facto recipient of all of these. Really? And this longer, do it. <laughs> so, so just that I understand. So what, what you did was essentially write um, like a universal intercept that when yes. you make web requests yes. actually yes. Mm -hmm. logs them. Yes. Actually, it was a lot easier than uh, what I expected because uh, I was expecting uh, NSLogger to trigger again uh, NSURL protocols so in recursively. And uh, actually, NSLogger uses um, uh, CF, uh, CF network. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, so yeah. <laughs> Sessions is working and not working. Well, um, it is working as long as you use the default session. Um, it, uh, I don't think it's uh, it's possible to make it work with uh, downloads or, or yes, background sessions. So you said this only works if you run it in Xcode? No, no, it can work on the device uh, as well. Okay. 
and didn't try it, but it should work. I, I can vouch that I used NS Logger to remotely debug something that was yes. happening in Atlanta when I was in Ottawa. Uh -huh. it, it works through that. Yes. We made yes. Uh -huh. And I could see the requests on a device on the network in Atlanta and log them on a network in Ottawa because it was bridged. Mm -hmm. Okay, but NS Logger just looks at the full network. Uh, what's happening? NS Logger is just a client that looks for special requests that are coming from the, its uh, its client code inside of your iOS or Mac app. Okay. You have to include the NS Logger code, which is why I said turn on your NS Logger viewer, and you're going to see people that yes. ship with it. So, okay. So don't ship with it when you're shipping. <laughs> <around. laughs> of course. <laughs> with that protocol enabled. Right. Exactly. With that that uh, framework essentially. Yeah, exactly. Why not? <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Thank you.